watched by millions of people across the globe, Downton Abbey has made international stars of its cast, including Highclere Castle. The stately home has been the backdrop to scandal, intrigue and tragedy in the Crawley family. But what was life really like at Highclere Castle? That's the subject of a series of books written by the 8th Countess of Carnarvon, Lady Fiona Herbert, who has the enviable position of calling Highclere her home. Life at the Twenties in Highclere was very glamorous, um, with lots of dancing and singing, wonderful dinner parties. But the contraside to that was Geordie's grandparents, the 6th Earl and Countess, had to fight to save it, because they'd been saddled with huge death duties and weren't sure they could make it through. But against that, they nevertheless decided to have friends down to carry on enjoying themselves. And um, amazing people came from Prince George, who later became Duke of Kent, who was so good looking, to Poppy Baring, Marlboroughs, many of the aristocrats you know, in the country, as well as actors and actresses. Her latest book follows life upstairs and downstairs during the time of the sixth countess, Lady Catherine. Like Downton Abbey, Highclere became a social hub for the luminaries of Edwardian England, with Lady Catherine at the helm, organising lavish banquets and weekend house parties. So how has life changed at the castle? I think my husband and I work very hard today, and in a perhaps a more hands-on way than his forebears. There's, there's much more day-to-day -day involvement for me in more aspects of the house, Catherine would have been involved in the, the staff and the running of the house, just as Elizabeth McGovern, Cora Grantham, is portrayed in Downton Abbey. I think today there's a lot more detailed work on the financial side for my husband, and for me on the refurbishment, the building, the stonework, the craftsmen, the plasterers. There's less managers in today's world. So that is very different. So I'm up quite early, and I think it's simple things now, like we deliberately take exercise and go for bike rides or, you know, go on my cross train and watch the news in the morning, whereas in those days they might have gone for a ride. It was definitely more leisurely, a different speed of life. Having said that, the concerns are the same. How happy people are, whether we're all working together, whether the teams are working in the house, whether the gardeners are interacting properly with the house staff, you know, someone's got upset, why did that happen? So all that's the same, but that's like any business, you need to know it. So there are definitely strong strains which are exactly the same. <laughs> there has been a house on the site of Highclere Castle since Doomsday, but the building was transformed in 1838 by the third Earl, who brought in the man who designed the Houses of Parliament, Sir Charles Barry, to transform his home into an impressive mansion. Some of the most recognisable spaces in the 200-room house include the Grand Saloon, containing a sweeping oak staircase, as well as the library, the drawing room, and of course, the dining room. And they're all still used on a daily basis by the Countess and her husband, Geordie, even when filming takes place during the spring. When film is taking place, it, the, sort of the rhythm slightly changes because they arrive early in the morning and they want to start work and be filming by eight o'clock in the morning. So my husband normally lets them in and then they're here for all day and there's equipment and computers and uh, everything everywhere. And I can see the housekeepers becoming, as I feel, a bit distressed as the dust piles up because there's only so much you can do. And they're really filming quite small areas but the equipment around, the number of people around is enormous. They don't have access to all the rooms. They tell us where they're going each day. We want them to get beautiful shots and we want the castle to be still standing. So that's sort of how it works. And at the end of the day, we shut the door. The fact that dance now be shown on television, it means that millions of people are more familiar with the house. That is quite all. The thing is, I don't think I think about it that much because I can't really take it in. So, 
So I, I just carry on really, which I'm sure is the right, I hope is the right thing to do. And in the end, we work hard on day-to-day -day life, so I don't think I worry about it, you can't. <laughs> And with rumours of a film in the pipeline, Highclere Castle looks set to remain one of the most iconic homes in Britain for years to come. This is Amanda Hall for The Advertiser.